I look for a certain almost unquantifiable sound. I don't really know what it is until I hear it. When I played the Rev Star for the first time, it had that sound, you know, the dirty sound, that heavy sound that a lot of my stuff has. And it has a beautiful, chimey, clean tone too, but the dirty thing was what I first noticed. One thing AFI has tried to do over the years is have iconic artwork, and it really becomes part of the mythos of each album. We just put out this record, the Blood Record, and had this really beautiful, interesting artwork. And I thought it would be great to have this on something. And like the guitar for me is the most obvious thing. I'm, you know, I'm running around the stage with this thing. It's like a billboard. So I approached Yamaha and I was like, can we do a special guitar that has this artwork on it? When it came out, it was just even better than I thought it would be. It was a really sinister looking guitar. And so I went out on tour and especially all of our new songs, I would play that guitar. Two records that had very striking iconography were Sing the Sorrow with a circle with the leaves on it and Some Run Around with a circle of rabbits and it just screams like put this on a guitar. I came to Yamaha and sat with everyone and I'm like is this possible to do this and like yeah let's do it. They came out so amazing so perfect and exactly what I pictured they would be and both of them were done differently so one was the, the background of the tree is a sort of wintry scene. The one with the leaves is, you know, this woman actually sat there and hand painted the leaves on it, which is cool, you know, just having that organic element to it. The consistency is very important to me because I want to be able to know that the guitar is going to sound how it should sound, how I think it sounds, every time I pick it up. You know, you want something that looks good on stage and that you're proud to play.